Hi, my name is Grant Hobson. I work as a finance analyst. Uh, today I'm going to talk you through some business maths uh, calculations and ratios. How to calculate net pay. Um, although when we start a job we might know what our gross salary is for the year or on a month, it's more useful to understand what the net pay is, what we come out after we've taken off tax, uh, national insurance, uh, student loans for example, just so we know our net position and the money we've then got to carry on with our lives in a month. Um, hopefully it'll be quite a lot, but if not then we can determine how we're going to treat ourselves. So in terms of calculating net pay, there's several criteria that we're going to have to take into consideration. So this section here um, is basically uh, tax allowances, income tax rates, NI, and student loan rates as at um, during 2010. Um, you can just go online and, and find these in various places, so it'll be of use just to understand and uh, you'll need these to uh, complete the calculation. Um, for the example that we're doing below, we're going to say that we're under 65, so the tax allowance is 6475, uh, and we're going to have a salary of £28,000, which gives us a, a tax rate of 20%. I've also said that um, we still have a student loan to pay uh, and as we're earning above £15,000 then the rate on this is going to be 9%. So you'll see all these uh, flow down into the calculation now, um, but this is just good for reference. So in terms of the example, we can look at yearly, monthly, weekly or even a daily perspective. Um, and you'll see as we go down we've got the tax allowance which you need to take off before you calculate the tax on your income, you've got your tax rates, you've got your national insurance element and then your student loan piece and ultimately down here we're going to get our take home pay. So the £28,000 goes into your yearly salary. For the monthly we simply divide by 12. Weekly, we simply divide the salary by 52, and daily, divided by 260, it's the amount of days that we say we work in the year. Um, so the tax allowance, as we said before, was 6475, and that's because of the income that we're on. Uh, and again, that's just divided out by the 12, the 52, and the daily rate to follow the calculation through. So ultimately we want to work the taxable income for the year, so it's 28,000 minus your tax allowance, it's 21,525. So the tax rate, as we said earlier, was 20%. So the tax is simply your taxable income multiplied by your tax rate. You see the tax, this is a deduction. We've got the national insurance calculation which is then a further deduction of 2451. Uh, so the final piece is to take into consider consideration the student loan. So to get the student loan, we've got an allowance of £15,000. So it's basically your £28,000 income, unless your allowance gives you £13,000, which you've got to repay your loan on through the year. So it'll be that multiplied by 9%. which should give us a take home pay of 20 or 73. So that's simply your gross income, less your tax, less your national insurance, less your student loan. And that's your take home pay. Obviously you may have other deductions coming off your pay if you put into say um, pensions or other you know, share schemes at work or any other element things that you take part in, um, so you'd have to add these into the equation as you go through. So for this example, the take home pay is 20,073, which is £1,672.80 a month.